welcome to a very special bonus episodes of Reviews That Scare with Jess and Blair. I'm Jess. I'm Blair. Blair, how are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well. I'm excited to talk about this one, uh, a brand new movie that just came out. Yes, it did. Uh, two days ago, three days ago. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You and I went and saw it last night, a little bit of a date night. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited to chat about this. What do you say we dive right in? Uh, we let's, let's do that, but I want to tell you a story. Oh, yes. Okay, let's start with the story. I started, I started telling you the story last night when we were in lineup to get our popcorn and drinks at the movie. Of course. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to finish this off at our episode tomorrow day. Yeah. So I went online and I purchased... What, what looked to be, in all the pictures, all the videos, like a giant Freddy Krueger Gravewalker statue. Right. So basically something on Halloween you would normally put on the ground to make it look like it's coming out of coming the ground. Coming out of the ground. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I was going to put it on, on my wall yeah. behind my TV, like above my TV. I was like, that will look so sick down in the basement. Yeah. Price tag said like 120 bucks, half off. So it was like 60 bucks. Yeah, good free, deal. Sh- free shipping. I was good like, deal. I'm, I'm jumping on this. I was like, yeah. I am jumping on this. This thing looks sick. I waited like two weeks, I guess. And then all of a sudden I got an email. It's like package delivered. So I was like, what do you mean package delivered? Nothing. No one came to my door. I didn't get anything. So I was like, I wonder. I went and checked my mailbox. There's like a little package in my mailbox. So I opened it up. And Jesse, this is what I got. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got a homemade little wow. Freddy Krueger. Uh, it's kind of awesome. I mean, I was going to say, to be <laughs> honest, that thing is pretty sick. I mean, but it's not like original price <laughs> $120 sick. It's definitely yeah. not even $60 sick. It's it's not what you were expecting. Yeah, either, yeah you definitely know? not. Definitely not. So I um, I fought with them. I fought with them. I was like, this is something I would maybe pay $30 for at a craft fair. I was like, it's super cool, but it's definitely homemade. And it's not what I paid for. Yeah. So they basically gave me the offer. They're like, we'll give you a full refund, but you have to pay to ship it back. Or we'll give you half your money back. So I was like, can't give me half my money back. $30. I got a pretty, pretty cool. The Freddy Krueger uh, thing, but it's definitely not what I what I want. So, so where is it going? It's it's clearly not going on the wall behind your TV. Right now, it's being used as like a paperweight on my paper computer de- on my computer desk. <laughs> For I those of it. you who can't see us right now, like who are listening to the podcast, um, this Freddy Krueger is probably twelve inches. It, it's a very small. It's definitely not um, what I had purchased. And I mean, it is. It's clearly. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, um, yeah. He he's maybe a little bit more cartoonish looking. His eyes are just bright yellow. I don't know yeah. if you can see it, but it's just hilarious. Bright yellow. Yeah. <laughs> no hat either. No. No. Hat. No. Well, I knew it wasn't going to come with a hat, even if it was a big one. I was just going to buy a hat from like Spirit Halloween or something like that, and kind of yeah. kind of pimp him out a bit, right? But yeah. <sighs> Whatever. What the hell? Way got to start off. the most wonderful month of the year <laughs> off with a bang, hey? Uh, got ripped off. So yeah, be careful where you buy from online. That is for sure. I love that. Great, great story. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is, like I said, it's a bonus episode. A movie we just saw yesterday. It is not going to be our regular format. We're not going to do the whole celebrity lookalike line of the night lessons we learned. We're just going to kind of give our initial thoughts or what we can remember from the first viewing of Drumroll Saw 10. Yeah, yeah, baby. We saw Saw 10 last night. It was a late viewing. It wasn't um, ever. <laughs> we showed up at the theater. And it was packed. It was. And we're like, this is going to be excellent. It's going to be a full house. People are going to love it. And then we walked into the theater, and I believe we were one of 10 people in there. Yeah, everyone was going to a different movie. I don't even know what else was playing there. but (laughs) I don't know either. Now, this is the 10th installment in this franchise. I believe we've talked about it in the past. But just to refresh your Blairski, how many of these have you actually seen? 
I have seen all of them at one point. You have. I have seen all of them at one point. I don't remember any of them. Yeah. Except for the, the first, first two. The first yeah. two. Yeah. 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 I own the first two and I've seen them numerous times. Yeah. But all the other ones after that, I've only seen them maybe a single time. Right. Okay. So I don't fully remember. Um, I have seen the first one a couple times and I've seen the second one. Um, I don't really remember the second one, but that's it. Yeah. I so that. I was a little bit worried that I would be completely uh, in the dark for this one. And spoiler alert, I didn't feel lost at all in this movie. Uh, speaking of spoiler alert, we'll, we'll do our best, but there might be some slips of spoils in this episode. Yeah. So if you have not seen the movie yet, go check the movie out, come back, check out the episode. Yeah. Um, so right off the bat, this one is, I believe, the first one in the series that does not start with a trap. No, no, it's actually got a, to be honest, a slow beginning to this movie. It does. Honestly, I would say the first 20 minutes, half an hour are a little bit slow. Mm. Um, it has a lot to do with uh, the character of Jigsaw. He's uh, is battling brain cancer and it's all about kind of what what are his next steps in preparation of of dying, I guess. It's fight for um, survival. And I'm going to just say it right now. And, and uh, I found a lot of the scenes with Jigsaw's battle with cancer harder to watch than some of the trap scenes i'm yeah. not gonna lie like some of those scenes were hard to watch you really felt for them it's uh the first saw that we see jigsaw openly crying yeah um and it's kind of it's the you see i i would think i've only seen the first two but i would imagine this is the first time in the whole series that you see him show any kind of vulnerability mm -hmm. Uh, you see the the human aspect of it. And uh, not only that, Blair and I talked about this right after the movie, but it's like, there's a big portion of this movie where you are rooting for him. Most, the entire, to be honest, the entire movie I was going for rooting yeah. for Jigsaw and Amanda and Amanda. Yeah. And I mean, uh, that's another uh, nice little addition to this. You have uh, Shawnee Smith yeah. back to the franchise. We've definitely talked about that one before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw her at the uh, Calgary Horicon last year. We did. Yeah, yeah, it was uh it was it was nice having them both in this one. They worked really really well together. They did. Um all of their scenes which were most of their scenes um were great. I thought yeah. they were really really good. Um we had discussed just because it does start and uh right away we are trying to figure when this takes place. Immediately you turned to me and said, "Is this a prequel maybe?" Which it's not. Which it's not. It's not at all. I actually did a little bit of research and it apparently takes place between the first one and the second one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I don't okay. know. Again, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I just read that five minutes ago. So that's, uh, I, I kind of like that because we were, the whole movie we were trying to kind of place in the timeline of those nine previous movies. Right. When does this one take place? Right. It's it's weird because it kind of threw me off. There is the end credit scene, yeah. which first off, I'm so happy there is an end credit scene. Yeah. I'm happy we stayed to watch the end credit scene. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I kind of wish it was longer. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you told me about it right away. You said there's an end credit scene and it kind of happens, I would say, mid credits. Yeah, mid credits for sure. But um, that scene, it brings back a character from Saw three or four i think is makes he makes his debut in which kind of threw off the timeline for me again a little right, bit right right so it's, it's kind of interesting you had to uh explain that character to me briefly yeah. and i kind of have another brief little fun fact uh, this is the first film in the series not to uh include or not to feature a a, a cop subplot which is yeah. kind of interesting and to be honest, that was my least favorite part of the Saw films. The previous Saw really? films. Really? Okay. The cop subplot was my least favorite part because I found that part just super cheesy and not in a good way. It was very like kind of bad NCIS or, uh, you know, kind of reminded me of a show like that. It, it's kind of one of those things too where it pops up right when like a film starts to gain a little bit of momentum. You start really getting into it. Yeah. And it's kind of like they pump the brakes. 
Yeah. And it's like, oh, we also have this subplot. And it's like, we don't care. Yeah. This is a <laughs> Saw movie. Yeah. We want to see people, you know, fighting for their lives. That's why we watch Saw movies. But at the same time, this movie, I feel like this movie was less gory yep. and had less kills than most, if not all of the previous films. But at the same time, to me, this movie is better than most if not all of the previous films. It felt like just the 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 plot itself I really really liked. Mm. I I felt like again, I felt like the character of Jigsaw, you know, it, he he was showing his his it, that he was human. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love as how... far as he could be with still being, you know, a serial killer. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I do. I do. I love how the plot is about Jigsaw. This movie yeah. is in a nutshell, all about Jigsaw. From all the beginning about- to end. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, of course, Saw is known for its brutal contraptions yeah. and uh, and and games. Um, this one does not hold back either. It's, <laughs> no, it uh, like you were saying, it's not maybe as gory as the other ones in mm. the, the, the franchise. Or for that sake, it's probably not even the goriest movie that we've seen this year. No, uh, I'm looking at you, Terrifier 2. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that being said, this movie is very gory. Oh, it, it, it is for sure. Gory yeah. for sure. Yeah. Gory. Like it's definitely a gory movie. It's a bloody movie. There are quite a few kills, but just yeah. in comparison uh, to the previous, I mean, the first saw doesn't have that many kills, but it's still yeah. uh, like a gore fest. It's still a gore well, fest. And I think what made the first one special is because some a movie like that had never been done before. No, it was, it was new and fresh, man. And it was very, it was toeing the line. It was seeing how far they could go. Yeah. Um, with still being able to make the movie. Yeah. And this one, obviously it's a big blockbuster movie. Um, and I think they did okay. I yeah. thought all of the uh, the contraptions, all of the games were were unique enough. Did, did you have um, a favorite one? I did, um, and it was just kind of a lot of them were. Um, you just kind of laugh a little bit, and yeah. I'm glad that we weren't. There was a couple moments in the movie. Um, where Blair and I laughed and we weren't the only people in the theater, which <laughs> yeah. is why I love going to see horror movies in the theaters. Yeah. Um, yeah. The one that I really liked is, of course, I think the one that everyone is really looking forward to with this movie. Um, it happens really early in the movie. It's actually a, a dream sequence, I would say. Yeah, I wrote it down here as, um, as I, I called it a what if scenario. Totally. Absolutely. Right? Like it yeah. didn't actually happen, but, yeah. but it, it was still cool nonetheless. And it still plays out as if it happened. I mean, it's, yeah. do you want to play a game? And it's this whole thing. And of course that being the, uh, the eyeball contraption mm. with the mm-hmm. hoses to the eyeball, but there was some really great kills. I mean, there is a bit with a brain, yeah. um, a yeah. bit with a uh, bone marrow, which was really disgusting. That was uh, so the bone marrow scene was one of my favorites. Yeah. And I really liked the pipe bomb trap. Yeah, that was uh, a pretty gross. It was pretty gross. That guy survived. And I don't think we ever found out what happened to him. Did we? No. And that was the first proper trap game. Yeah. First yeah. proper trap in this movie. Um, And it was uh, I mean, besides the obviously the what if. Uh, scenario this was the first one that happened there's also uh, the ra- the radiation trap i thought was pretty fucking cool man <laughs> yeah if nothing else holy i mean we talk about special effects we talk about makeup but whoever did this movie i do not have the names of the people who did special effects and makeup on this movie but kudos to yeah. you yeah because everything this looked is good next level stuff the burns the amputations the blood the gore everything i mean this is a movie that you you know you watch with one eye closed <laughs> yeah um, for sure but man oh man did the makeup look cool it looked really cool there's that one scene though uh me and you both laughed at it it was a little cheesy but but it's still cool in a sense where they use a person's intestines as rope <sighs> 
to try to uh, try to escape a certain scenario. But they're using these pulling intestines out of this person to use his rope. <laughs> and that was the one scene in the movie that had the whole crowd, the whole 10 people in the auditorium laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just one of those things where it's like it is so ridiculous <laughs> and we can't confirm if it was large or small intestine but no, what we, we can can't. confirm is that the scene was absolutely ridiculous mm -hmm. and there's no way um the filmmakers i i can't imagine they were hoping we would take that scene serious it is so <laughs> ridiculous it is <laughs> um it did work though yeah it did yeah it did it did work <laughs> oh goodness i also love how the whole time there's a master plan jigsaw has a master plan there's there are moments where you think people have the upper hand on jigsaw or yeah. things aren't going as planned but everything goes as planned like there's just a master plan to there's a method to the madness it's great he's man. he's always two steps ahead yeah where it's like this is the end of jigsaw you yeah. know it, he he died at the hand of his own his own making yeah um and it's like oh we are so stupid to think yeah <laughs> that this is what would kill him there's no way in hell yeah you know? it's no. just like you said it's part of the plan yeah it's part of the plan <laughs> and the plan make might make him look very weak and it might put you know other people that he surprisingly cares about mm -hmm. at risk um but it's all part of the plan yeah, it's crazy to see because Jigsaw, he's not a strong man. Like he he's no. not, he's he's uh, fighting cancer, he's old. Amanda, his his helper yeah. herself, yeah. I mean, she's not that strong either, although yeah. she does do most of the leg work yeah. in in that pig costume, which is super yeah. cool, by the way. I what love a great mask. mask. What a great mask. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's crazy that just the two of them can cause so much mayhem, right? Yeah. It, it makes me really curious to see um, what happens next with the franchise. I yeah. honestly can say after watching this one, it's far from being over. Um, yeah. I feel like this is maybe the last time we see Tobin Bell. I hope not, though. I hope he gets, I, I, I hope they give him at least some sort of big bang out. You know what I mean? And I hope not as well. I hope I, I agree with you. I hope he gets one final farewell. I don't know if he will. Um, this one did really feel like a passing of the torch. Yeah. From him to Amanda. To Sean, Shawnee, to Shawnee, Smith. Shawnee Smith. Yeah. Even, I mean, there's a whole bit where he's talking about like, you're ready, you're ready. Mm -hmm. So she's, you know, he's been mentoring her in this, you know, sick, sick job opportunity. <laughs> um, well, ever since she survived the trap in the first one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I feel like this is it is a passing of the torch. And uh I'm not like obviously Tobin Bell is fantastic. And he was the best only, actor in this movie. He's so menacing. He's so yeah. he, I, like you were saying, he's sickly, sickly, sickly in this movie, but he's still terrifying as hell. Mm -hmm. And he's just a really good actor. But Shawnee Smith was also fantastic in this yeah, movie. Yeah, she was. Oh. Minus her wig. <laughs> it was a bad, bad hairdo. Um, but she was great in this. Yeah, like she, she was. She's a really, really strong character, um, really strong presence. And she's just, she drank the Kool-Aid. She is totally on board with absolutely everything Jigsaw has to say. She, yeah. She's dialed in. She's on the same page as him. I love it. And you can tell all she really cares about is his well-being. Yeah, she cares, yeah. It, which is so weird. But she she cares about him, yeah. you know. And I yeah. think, and I think that's also reciprocated. I think uh, Jigsaw cares about Amanda as well. Yeah, a lot, one hundred percent. Yeah, I feel like they're the only people in the world who who understand each other. Yeah, which is <laughs> really really neat and really really sick in a weird way. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, Jaws or Jaws Saw movies are going to get a lot of flack for being nothing more than, um, you know, two hours of pure violence. Not this one, though. Not this one. Is there anything about this one that you didn't care for? Well, I kind of mentioned it before. The cheesy scenes, as much as uh, they were funny and they gave us a laugh. I, yeah. I mean, come on. It kind of takes the the horror aspect of Saw movies. Yeah. Out of it, the the intestine scene was a little yeah. off. And the end credit scene, as much as I 
enjoyed it. Um, the character that comes into it, um, the detective from previous Saw, yeah. I, I find him a very cheesy actor yeah. already to, to be a general. And I found that kind of part with him very cheesy as well. Yeah. I also didn't really like the main girl, the doctor or the uh, doctor. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was just like, I don't know if it was like an act from the acting of it aspect or from just the character herself or right. maybe a combination of both. But I, I fucking cringe like every time she spoke. <laughs> I, I feel like it's, uh, I, I totally understand what you're getting at. I to me, I think it is a character thing. Yeah. I hate that character so much. Yeah, me too. But man. I I think that's the whole point of it. Yeah, that's true. the point of the character <laughs> is we want we want Jigsaw to um to come out on top. And you know? spoiler and alert we, again, she doesn't get her comeuppance. She does not get her comeuppance. Well, in yeah, a sense, that's she does. Thing. In a sense, she does. I would say she does, but we also we don't. Um, I have a feeling she'll be back. Do you think she'll be back on well, the side we, of Jigsaw? Do you think she'll be another protege? No, I don't think she will. I think she'll be... I don't know. I just feel like they left it at such a... Uh, an open door. Like, mm -hmm. they didn't really... I mean, she obviously, at the end of the movie, you know she's in rough shape, but you don't know... Not that I can remember. I don't think we see her die or anything like that. Last time we see her, she's sticking her head out of that hole, breathing yeah. as yeah. her boyfriend or whatever the hell he is, is dying in the room she's in. Yeah. And then they just leave. So maybe they just left her in there, locked away forever to die. Who knows, right? Like, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't tell us. But man, did I hate that character. <laughs> it's, uh, <coughs> pardon me. Um, it, it just immediately, these movies always get me thinking like escape room, escape room, escape yeah. room. Yeah, it's right. Like, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Wild. So I thought the, um, the intro, although I really like that they did focus on Jigsaw's character, mm -hmm. the intro caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. Um, me too, man. It was not what I was expecting at all. And it just kept going and going. Like I said, it was probably, it felt like you know, 25, 30 minutes. You're just waiting um, for that first trap, which you're used yeah, to saying, which is, seeing within the first five minutes, right? Well, so. and that's, again, that's why you go and see Saw movies. Mm -hmm. um, but for them, it would kind of took me off guard. I was like, oh, well, this is kind of weird. I don't know if I like this. Which, on the drive home, I did decide that it was like, no, I really liked that they did take that time to focus on that character. It's a it new made take. Us, it's a new take on the franchise. Absolutely. And right? it made us sympathize with that character. It yeah. made us like that character uh, even more, yeah. you know? This was, uh, yeah, I was surprised with uh, how much I enjoyed this. It's the first thing you said to me when we were exiting the theater. You're like, yeah. I am surprised with how much I like that movie. I was like, that movie was not uh, terrible, which... No. A Saw movie, it's it's a toss-up, but also a 10th movie in any franchise. It's an absolute toss-up of chances are this movie's going to stink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think they, they, I mean, it's been a while since we've seen one. It has and I think, I think they really sat down with it and uh, they really, really focused. Okay, how are we going to do this? You know, because it's not just going to be another saw a movie it's got to be different yeah and, and um, they did that and they did that yeah. i i i enjoyed it yes i did yeah i did as well i'm really glad we saw this one uh anything else i've i've covered all the notes i had, did take on this i mean we obviously saw it in theater so i didn't write down notes um yeah. when we were sitting there but i came home jotted some stuff down i've already talked about everything so like we were saying this is a very uh off the cuff our very uh initial thoughts on this movie um so let's just get right into it let's dive right into our final rating for saw 10 2023 blair ski out of five non-relaxing business trips in mexico <laughs> what do you give saw 10 <laughs> that's exactly what it was <laughs> yeah. i'm giving saw 10 three and a half non-relaxing business trips in mexico out of five nice excellent yeah. I'm going to be giving this one a three 
non-relaxing business trips in Mexico out of five. This was a, a fun movie. Uh, had a little bit of laughs. Mm-hmm. Um, there was definitely a lot of scenes where I was uh, cringing, a cringing, a <laughs> cringing, but all in all, really impressed with Saw 10. Yeah, um, it's uh, the best Saw I, I can remember seeing um, since the first one. The first one's obviously a classic. The first one's yeah. epic. I yeah. do really enjoy the second one. I think the second one's a lot of fun. Yeah. I liked this one, though, better than the second one. So interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, definitely not one I think I'll see in the theaters again, no. but I will be watching it uh, when it comes out streaming or whatever. It was a, uh, it was a fun watch. Guess where uh, Rachel is right now. Is she seeing Saw 10? She's at Saw 10 by herself. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm glad we were able to sneak in this review. Just a nice little bonus episode. Of course, October, so many great movies coming out. We have um, another bonus episode next week. Next yeah. Weekend. Yeah. One, of course, early October. You horror fans know exactly what movie that is. We've talked about it nonstop for the last little bit. Yeah. Uh, the Exorcist Believer. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> um, but for review set scare with Jess and Blair, I'm Jess. I'm Blair. Remember to stay scary. And eat every sandwich. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to Review Set Scare. Make sure you check out our link tree at linktree slash review set scare. That's L I N K T R dot E E slash review set scare which has links to our Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, Twitch, and many other things. If you'd like to email us, you can reach us at reviewsetscare at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, and remember to stay scary and eat every sandwich. A proud member of Pod Nation TV.